Yeah. Okay, so welcome then. Uh, thanks, Lord of Nightmares, for joining us, and uh, we're just going to be taking a look at this new ship of yours. So, first of all, what is its name? The ST Darksis. The ST Darksis. It's a beautiful ship. I'm loving the uh, general shape, combination of turrets. This sort of central crystal thing is a new, uh, new thing which we've been seeing on a lot of ships. And um, it's a dock. Is it? It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's something I'm... special. Is it in a weird position on your screen? Yes. No, it's not supposed to be like that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it it's, looks it's cool. supposed to be like tip to tip kind of thing. Oh right. Well, it looks cool. Maybe it's a uh, previous revision or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, really loving the inside. Uh, the sorry, exterior detailing on it. So I'm going to take a look at the insides. Where is the hangar? Uh, if you come down to the left, near the main turret there. Yep. Oh, I see. Ooh. I, uh, I hereby dub this thing the U-boat. Yeah, because that shape. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't often see that much negative space in a ship, so well done. So this is one of two hangars. Nice hangar. This is uh, my diplomatic ship that I build, and I repurpose these shuttles. Yeah. Nice shuttles, man. So, and also, I like the detail on the gravity units. Makes it nice and easy to find them. <coughs> oh, wow, you've gone with the School of Alien corridor. It's just, like, really wide and low. Very nice. Oh wow, these corridors yeah, but... just go forever. Yeah, uh, the, effort, the windows, effort. you see the glass? Hang on, I'm just going for a little, go I'm just going for a run all the way around your corridors and build back. <laughs> Woo, dude, you could do skid oh, racing. Oh, blast windows. Dude, if you took out the pillars, you could do skid racing in this guy's corridor. <laughs> nice. You can close those blast windows? Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. All the windows except the bridge windows are like that. Speaking of the bridge, that's a cool idea. Floating consoles. Ooh, yeah, floating consoles are cool. This is one of the it's, few examples where it makes sense, too. It's also like the gravity. You see how the gravity is? You can also flip over onto the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had a concept like that. That was, yeah, good stuff. Well, you know, why not? We're masters of gravity. So. And this is the, uh, this is the, uh, obviously, the actual diplomatic room with the table. Mmm, nice table. And it also has a great view. It does. It does have a great view. Outstanding. Oh, nice. There's Big doors. Special, something special for the defense systems that I've designed in. Yeah. I need to, I need to test it though, but uh, when, like, since it's a diplomatic ship and sometimes you may get diplomats with enemies and they might attack the actual ship, the, uh, the crystal you see is designed, obviously, as you saw, is to undock. Mm hmm. And it serves as an escape capsule. But the turrets as you see, have engines on them. Right. So they undock and become little drones. Ah, so, the ter so it becomes a swarm to distract whatever's attacking yeah. them. Well, I'm leading by what you said and heading over to the escape pod. Ah, yeah, it has an umbilical... Escape crystal. Escape <laughs> crystals. The interior on this thing is actually on, consistent. Yeah. Works for Superman. Nice choice of colour, excellent detailing on the turrets really brings out the shape of the ship. And um, nice engine design, so all in all, beautiful. Beautiful ship. Okay. Yeah, these are the engines off of the uh, Gazra. Yeah, they look familiar. Yeah. So there 
it is. The name of that ship one more time, please. The ST Darxis. The ST Darxis. And it was Lord of Nightmares. So now we're going to yep. be moving on to the next ship in the review. So it's your choice whether you wish to stay. Uh, uh, you can delete the ship. Oh, you can delete the ship. Ah, okay. Well, that kind of makes it easy, actually, because there's quite a few turrets here. Yeah. 